first. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Hello, friends. Joey the Truth Wagner with you. Welcome into a brand new episode of the Truth Serum tonight. Folks, breaking news for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 4 p.m. this afternoon was the deadline for franchise tagged players in the NFL and their teams to agree to a long term contract extension. 4 p.m. passed. And Steelers running back Le'Veon Bell and the Pittsburgh Steelers could not agree on a deal. That is what this episode will be about. Folks, here is what it means. It means that for this upcoming NFL season, Le'Veon Bell will be playing under the franchise tag for the second year in a row. Last season, he made a little more than $12 million. This season, he'll be playing on the tag for $14.5 million. Folks, this is not about the Steelers offering Lady Bell a bad contract. It's not. This is about Lady Bell betting on himself, being very greedy, and making what I think in the long term will be an awful decision. Terrible decision. Folks, during this entire process, Le'Veon Bell wanted the average annual value on his contract to be $14.5 million per season. This is what the Steelers offered him. He turned it down. He's a running back. He's not a quarterback or a wide receiver. He's a running back. This is what he turned down. You saw it. Five years, $70 million total, more than $30 million guaranteed in the first two years. That's an average annual value of $14 million. You're going to walk away from the bargaining table over $500,000 a year when the deal is for $70 million? You gotta be out there to do that. You have to be out of your mind. Out of your mind. To turn down a five-year, $70 million contract. As a running back. I'm not talking about a franchise quarterback. I'm talking about a running back. Who turned down $14 million a year. Sheesh. And throughout this entire, through this entire situation, this is what the agent of Le'Veon Bell said. He said, quote, It became clear the Steelers wanted to pay the position, not the player, end quote. Yes, they were. $14 million for Le'Veon Bell is very fair. Very fair. Especially when you compare it to, to other running backs. Friends, here is a look at the top two paid running backs in the NFL. In this graphic, I used Le'Veon Bell's proposed contract offer from the Steelers of $14 million per season and not the tag value of $14.5 million. But here it is. As you see there, Le'Veon Bell number one by far. By far for running backs. Bell is one at $14 million per. Devonta Freeman of the Atlanta Falcons is number two at $8.25 million. Bell wanted to reset the market for running backs. He blew an opportunity to do it. If he would have taken this deal, 
Le'Veon Bell would be making almost 70% more per year than the next highest paid running back. That's more than resetting the market. That's lighting the market on fire. That's an explosion of the market. And he turned it down? <laughs> Goodness. And also, friends, let's compare two Steelers. This is going to show that the Steelers' offer was more than fair. Let's compare Le'Veon Bell and his teammate wide receiver Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown currently is getting $17 million per season on the long-term deal he signed. Bell would be getting $14 million if he agreed. But think of it, and, and, and Antonio Brown, healthy mostly, check. Never suspended, check. Great character, no off-the-field problems. Check. Best at his position. Check. That's $17 million for Brown. Here's a look at Bell. Off the field. Ah! Suspended twice. Character. Ah! Wrong. Wrong. Again, suspension. Marijuana charge. Character. Showed up late to the walkthrough of the Steelers' playoff game. This offers more than fair. With Antonio Brown, I get all of the talent and none of the problems. And with Le'Veon Bell, I get all of the talent, but he's injury prone. Knee surgery, ACL injury, MCL too. And I get the off the field issues. And that alone... Not being a train wreck off the field isn't worth $3 million a year in the NFL. Really? More, more than fair offer. Five years, $70 million for Le'Veon Bell. More than fair? And friends, let's start the movement. Let's start the movement together. Last season... In the regular season, Le'Veon Bell had a combined 406 touches between rushing carries and receptions. I have a feeling that number is going to be way up, blown away. Pittsburgh Steelers, if he's not going to sign long term with you, hashtag run Bell into a well. Run him until he can't go no more. Let the wheels fall off. Let them fall off. Use every bit and piece and ounce of energy and talent this man has. Get your $14.5 million worth. Join the movement with me, folks. Hashtag run Bell into a well. Well, folks, those are my thoughts on Le'Veon Bell not agreeing to a long-term contract with the Steelers this afternoon. By the way, his agent said... Quote, this now likely will be Le'Veon's last season as a Steeler. So if he's going to leave, you've gotten his best years, his prime years, his young years. Run Bell into a well. Use him till his ankles fall off his legs. And as always, give me your comments below in the comment section. From the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Have a nice day.